what they offered per hour was i told myself at that very moment like if this is what nursing was i'm done hello beautiful people what is up and welcome back to yet another video if this is your first time stopping by thank you so much for stopping by i am so grateful to have you here on my channel and if you are a returning subscriber or if you are a returning viewer thank you so much once again i'm equally delighted to have you all on my channel well just in case you're new here my name is onyeka and i'm a nigerian canadian youtuber i make videos all things lifestyle immigration and i share tips about my nursing career which is what today's video is about so i will highly encourage that you check out my previous videos as i'm sure that there's definitely something there worth interesting for you to watch i am certain that you will decide to stick around and in order for you to stick around please be sure to subscribe to my channel and you can do so by clicking on the subscribe button down there it is absolutely free there is no charge to it and when you do subscribe please don't forget to turn on that bell notification button so that you can be getting notifications whenever I post a video and you will not miss any of my content at all. So in today's video, it's going to be like a two parts. I'm going to have like a bit of chit chat and then I'm going to be talking about my first salary as a nurse. I'm pretty sure you're interested in wanting to know how much I earned like my very first paycheck as a nurse in Canada. Um, yeah, so stick around and don't go anywhere, okay? <laughs> ago i know i talked about um how i almost quit on the first day of my nursing placement like i i was like oh i had like an awakening that day i was like no this is this is not it for me um and i said i was going to give you a brief story time of, of that experience so this is this is the video and later on the other half of this video i'll be talking about finances like my very first paycheck so if that's what you're interested in yeah you can skip to the end and watch it but i will encourage you to listen to the entire video okay i started my nursing school in the fall of 2020 september and i finished my school my program in april of 2022 my program was for 19 months and i went to the university of western ontario and the program i did was the compressed time frame nursing it's sort of like a second degree nursing so you need to have like a previous degree in order to pursue this program so these are just the frequently asked questions that i had to put out there before getting into this video so um as you can tell i went to school during the pandemic and during that time there was a lot of change there was a lot of pressure on the healthcare and that also led to like shortages of healthcare staff globally so yeah there was like a covid boom like there was a high demand for nurses and high demand um led to crazy burnout for a lot of healthcare workers and that led to like the rise in travel nurses like the rise in the demand for nurses who are needed um in remote areas or in healthcare facilities that are not able to staff their own unit so there was like this crazy high demand for but before we get right into that um i just want to shift your attention just a little bit to um my very first clinical placement it was on the medicine floor so you can already imagine Honestly, the idea of wanting to become a nurse, um, it wasn't because I was crazily passionate to because oh, I wanted to like see people get better. Yes, I I enjoy when my patients get better, but it wasn't like oh, I was a um, Florence Nightingale. Uh -huh, yeah, it wasn't that. It was also partly financial. For some reason, I wasn't really thinking about what it truly was to become a nurse, like what it truly was to nurse a patient see if you've worked in the medicine floor or like this bedtime nursing that are very demanding physically demanding you will know what i mean you know what it means to nurse somebody back to health like if i cough you will take care of me you clean it if i pee you will clean it hmm, yeah oh your girl did not know so my first day of placement i was like oh med surge okay let's let's see what it is the minute i entered the ward the what I was smelling, the nose. Mm -hmm. See, for the longest time, I used to think I could handle things that were gross, like not very pleasant, like bodily fluid. I used to think I could handle it, but I realized that it was only my own 
or like a baby's own echo. I was not thinking about it in the context of like an elderly person or an adult. Yeah. So I remember like we had to follow like our assigned nurses around and then the nurse that I was attached to, she had a patient who had an ostomy bag. I'll try to insert a picture of what that looks like. So basically they removed their body waste, their feces from um, a stoma that has been created on their abdomen into a bag, stuff like that. That was the first time I was seeing something like that. So everything was all new to me, but now I know better. And then she had to change this bag. If you if you worked in this kind of floor or if you have experience with this thing, you will know that the smell from that thing, like the smell of feces from that, is different from the one that comes out in the toilet. There's a difference. I recall I was so nauseous, like I was sweating. You know, you're having those cold sweats. I was having cold sweats. I was nauseous. I felt like I was going to pass out because the patient was uh, like required complex care had like a lot of bed sores wound everything i was like i thought i was going to be sick i had to excuse myself i had to quickly like pour cold water on my face and chew gum and that day was just so much i was i told myself at that very moment like if this is what nursing was i'm done like i was done i told myself like I would do something else that is not hospital nursing, that is not better nursing. Like, I knew I could not handle it. See, big ups to you nurses that work in ICU or med surge or medicine or surgery or palliative or something. Like, I don't know how you guys do it. I, I see. And the funny thing is, nurses that are in that field, like, or in that unit, they're not paid any higher than nurses that are in um, like a lighter unit anyways i remember that day i got home and i told my complaint bitterly to my friend she was like okay that is one of the worst places to start like that is one of the hardest units in nursing so for context sake um i work in mental health specifically the child and adolescent unit so i don't get to do all of these nursing things here and there I get that people say, oh, you have to learn the nursing skills, this and that. Like I said, I didn't do it because um, I needed to learn those skills. Those skills, I can always do like a three months training in a particular unit and just learn it. But honestly, it's, it wasn't for me. It was, sorry, it was, I tried it. It wasn't for me. Nurses that are doing this work, I feel like they should be paid significantly more. In my opinion anyways the closest to doing like nursing nursing care for me was working in a, in a long-term care unit and i'm getting somewhere that will lead me towards the other half of this video so i'm um, working in a long-term care facility working in a long-term care it is very straightforward i could be wrong but there are already tasks assigned you already know what you're going to do if you're on the cart you're giving your meds and then if you're the charge nurse you're probably doing like the paperwork and doing some treatment, some wound care, stuff like that. My first job um, out of nursing school was in a long-term care. It wasn't a permanent job. It wasn't a full-time thing. It was just a gig that I got through an agency. This was about two days after I passed my NCLEX. So I was I, I started working pretty early. Um, after my NCLEX, a friend of mine, she hooked me up with one, one agency that she was working with and they needed nurses in a little town just outside of where I lived. Um, so I applied and of course they were sure they needed nurses so they're not going to reject you. I got trained as a charge nurse um, which was just paperwork and a few, a few things like checking temperatures, nothing really. And there was also like a nurse that was strictly for, for med pass, giving medications. If you have worked in a long-term care home, you know that med passes. <laughs> and looking back now, I kind of sometimes prefer to do med pass because it's the same everywhere. So I was trained for charge nurse roles and after that I was working as a charge nurse. Then one day they were short and they told me to be on the cart. And I've only had one training shift on the cart and I was bodied up with someone, but I didn't do it on my own. So I had help or rather I was helping someone. Ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, I don't know what happened that day. I don't know, do you know? If you've done med pass, you know there's morning meds, there's afternoon meds, there's night meds, there's in between meds, there's PRNs, there's one you have to give when the patient is in pain or the resident is in pain, stuff like that. 
do you know that day eh? i wear a wig i went to the toilet i remember that day i pulled my wig because i was so overwhelmed these residents were new i you if you work in long thinking you understand you have to know their name so you don't have to give the wrong person the wrong drug if you ask your name for example let's say your name is um um jane i'd be like are you jane they'll say yes yes they are not jane no they are old people they will say yes and sometimes we're told to check the back of their shirts to be sure that that's the residence name that's on the shirt they can wear the wrong shirts it's not them so that day i was so slow it was like 11 o'clock it was like one hour before lunch and i had not finished giving my am medications i remember the charging us that day said ah oh, you're still on money meds wow see guys i was panicking i was telling myself in my life i will never do this again i will never do it again i went to the toilet i pulled my wig i was pouring water on my face telling myself in the mirror like you can do this you can do this you can do this so just thinking about thinking thinking about it, it's giving me ptsd you know when there is ma the mar thing you also have to do a ta that's the task the treatment the creams Anyways, let me not talk too much about it. So, so let's move on to one of the reasons why you guys are here. So I got my first nursing job two days after I passed my nursing exams and it was with an agency. Looking back now, I was shortchanged because for some reason, the, the owner of the agency or the recruiter was like, oh, well, you just got out of school. Um, you're going to pay this X amount and stuff like that. Looking back now, it was just unfair. It was a long-term care facility and it was with an agency, like I said, and what they offered per hour was $65 per hour for me and I was working 12 hour shifts and they don't pay you like 65 times 12 they don't pay you for your break so they pay for 11.25 hours so 65 multiplied by 11.25 hours will give you $731.25 so that's how much it was per day and in total I did about 13 shifts with that agency and in that facility and 13 shifts if you do the math will give you about nine thousand five hundred and six dollars and 25 cents so that's what my first nursing paycheck was out of school and i was so happy i was like yeah but that was the covid boom it's not like that again mm, it's not like that Things are changed and things are different. But mind you, that was not a full-time job. I have a full-time job that is totally different from this. And with agencies, you're like you don't deduct any benefits or whatever. And this was before tax, obviously. Um, because I wasn't incorporated at that time, um, the agency had to deduct like you know tax and all of that stuff. So and then later on, obviously, I got wise. Um, I became incorporated. By incorporated, I mean I opened my own business, so I was my own employer, so I was a contractor, okay? So assuming I was a contractor at that time, I would have taken the full amount home, and I would have done my taxes myself by the end of my tax year, you can choose whenever that's going to be, and then I can file in like my expenses, like my transportation, my feeding, my accommodation, I can deduct all of that, just so um, when I'm paying taxes, it's significantly less. So yeah, this was how much I earned. This was my very first paycheck. And this was like two years ago. But things are, are totally different now. Like there's no COVID boom anymore. Um, the pay rates for travel nurses have significantly dropped. Unless you're going like places to like Newfoundland, Nova Scotia, Yukon, those um, up north places. Yeah, the pay is still about the same, but not as significantly high. I recall... Um, as of 2020 2021 people were earning as much as 150 dollar per hour to work in those places for like an allotted amount of time so yeah uh that's it for this video i don't have much to say so let me know your first time nursing experiences how you felt how that made you feel like what unit you're working on now i'm actually curious to know where my subscribers are even located so i would really appreciate it if you can also leave um, your location down in the comment section and let me know what you do like i feel like i want to know you guys so just kindly put your name your location i can see your name put your location and what you do in the comment section thank you for watching this video please be sure to like this video share this video and subscribe to my channel okay all right i'll see you guys in my next video take care and bye